All right, Micro Mod Dude here again, and I'm going to show you how to flash any, well, pretty much any uh, Fry Sky, uh, FR Sky um, receiver. And um, basically, what you'll first need to do is buy the um, the uh, STK S Port Toolkit from Fry Sky. Got it on Amazon for like I don't know, 19 bucks, something like that, plus shipping. Um, and then uh, basically, what you want to do is um, buy that first. And then you got your receiver here. What I'm, I'm gonna flash, or show you how to flash is the XM Plus, a receiver that I purchased here. I wanna make sure this is on the latest and greatest software. And of course, uh, what comes inside the, um, the receiver is these little connector pins. And you'll just want to connect the connector pin right there. You wanna solder it there real quick, connect it, cause you're gonna have to connect the wire later uh, when you're actually, um, uh updating the firmware okay so go ahead i like to, i chose this one there's two different sizes i chose this one that goes sideways you'll connect that there first and you'll also make sure you have handy your um your little diagram that tells you which way the connection goes here on the uh fry on the sdk tool you're going to want to make sure uh, this one goes on the bottom here where it's number two uh and then this is on upgrade selected right there very important that you uh select that this goes on upgrade down and on number two that plugs in. Make sure you correspond the connector, the, uh, the core, the connector here to the right uh, uh, corresponding connections, plus, minus, and then the other uh, receiving port there to send a signal. All right, you'll want to make sure you do that. And then you, once you do, once you connect this here, you connect the wire here first. Don't connect the receiver yet. That's the last thing you're gonna want to do. So let's go ahead and then connect it to the USB port. So grab your handy USB port there and just go ahead and plug it in. Plug that sucker bad boy in. All right, once that's plugged in, you're gonna wanna go to your device manager. And uh, you know, usually under search, you just type in device manager there and it'll come up. I don't can't do it right now because my uh, tripod is blocking my keyboard. And then once your device manager comes up here, then you'll see that uh, under ports, it'll be Silicon Labs, uh, CP210X, USB to art, it's COM6. You'll need, you'll need to remember COM6 because that's what you're going to need to flash it to, okay? Once that's done, then go, I uh, hope you downloaded all the software from the FrySky website. But as long as you download it, you're going to want to go to the, just Google the STK uh, toolkit from FrySky. I'm not going to go into it now, but assuming you already uh, did all that fun stuff. But once you do that, uh, you're going to unzip the file that came with it. And then you're going to go into the folder under SDK, the FrySky Update Sports folder. That's And make sure you also download the firmware. So you'll need the firmware and the STK uh, toolkit. All right. Uh, which one was it here? Manual? Uh, that's just the manual. So the one that you'll use to flash is the FrySky Update Sport. That's the one you'll use to flash it. Uh, that's and then you'll want to make sure you download your um, I download XM Plus receiver, download the folder with the correct firmware here. All right, once that's done, go back to your SDK folder and go to the Fry Sky Update uh, Sports folder, and then you're going to want to launch uh, your this basically the Fry Sky Update Sport. And of course, I got to put in my credentials here. All right, now I'll use my keyboard. Anyways, I have high security on my computer. All right, so then once that's hooked up, you're gonna see here, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. Okay, this pops up, the Fry Sky update. Make sure you go to the column that you, uh, under device manager, whatever you saw over here. Mine was column six, okay. So then over here, under the Fry Sky tool, you go to column six, bam, all right, now, the next part is key and tricky, all right? This is provisioned. You need to get this set up first before you plug in the actual receiver. Once this is done, we're gonna go back down over here. All right, and then here, you're gonna need your uh, diagram tool. So then uh, if you see where the pin, the bind button is here on the receiver, so look for the bind button right there. Okay, the bind button there, and then bind button there, and then you'll see the ground is on the bottom. So then go ahead and plug it in in that format. If you don't do it like this, it won't detect the software won't detect, uh, won't be able to update the firmware because it has to go into, um, uh, I guess it's a, kind of like a bootloader mode. But the only way to do it is you have to get all that plugged in first and ready to go. All right, then 
Again, ground on the bottom, ground on the bottom, get your cable, put it on ground. Once you put that on ground, bam. Then watch up here. Oh, I almost forgot. You gotta get the file. So get the file first before you do that. Here's my file, I'm gonna uh, flash right here. And then once you do that, we're gonna have to start over now. So you grab the file first, and then go back down here, unplug it again, okay? And then make sure ground on the bottom, ground on the bottom with the tool there, make sure it corresponds. And then plug it in, and then watch. Now it found it, see that? But you gotta grab the file first, I forgot about that. Once you find the, find the file first, then it shows you right there the, um, the firmware that's already on there. Of course, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do it new. So then make sure you select the right firmware, hit download, and then it'll start flashing. Please wait, it's in progress. And this takes about maybe about a minute or so uh, to flash the firmware. And basically that'll get you on the latest and greatest uh, firmware for your, your uh, FR Sky uh, receiver. You know, you always wanna make sure you're up to date. The technology changes a lot, so a lot of things are changing rapidly in the drone industry. So this will be good for you to upload. I would upload the firmware, make sure you're latest and greatest. And of course, we're almost done here. Just a few more seconds for it to finish. You see it goes all the way to the 100%. And then once it's done, you're ready to go. And then you pretty much uh, it'll say it's finished. And then you just hit end and you're all good to go. And as you see, it says firmware is updated. And that's pretty much it. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's how to update your firmware for your FrySky receivers. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel so I can get the 1,000 subscribers. Until next time, peace out.